So, a hanger to the neck? Yeah, maybe. I mean, it would be slow. It would be slow? Hi, uh, Brian Kirsch from Big A Horror Fan. I am trying to figure out ways to kill me with the amazing Scarf Asari. Um, a VHS to the head? Ah, uh, might not, yeah. Might not, might not. You know what? That would probably break. It would probably break. Probably that would. would not be good. That would yeah. not be good. You know what I should probably do? I should probably come to see your amazing play, Kill Me, beginning good. February 13th at the Anthony M Theater in Chicago to find out how to do it. <laughs> or find out uh, many ways to uh, to not do it, or many to ways not to do fail it. Uh, doing it. Right, the, uh, right. the, the woman in the play is uh, is having a lot of uh, trouble with that same issue. Interesting. Uh, so I could relate? Yes, very much so. Very, very much. I love shows that I relate to. They're yeah. a little violent and bloody and crazy. And yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So what was the uh, initial kind of uh, thought behind Kill Me then? Um, well, it, it, it kind of happened by accident, actually. I was, so I was uh, just playing around with these characters, and, mm -hmm. and one of them, uh, it just so happened that she had this delusion of invincibility, basically, or that she was oh, immortal. Um, I have delusions she, of grandeur sometimes. Yeah, sure. Thing. Right. Well, she kind of has, a, it's kind of similar, where yeah. uh, she, she thinks that she's eternal, she thinks she's immortal. At first, she's very excited by it. She comes out of a coma, and she, and, and she just has this feeling um, that something happened to her while she was in her coma um, that has taken away her ability to die. Um, but so uh, so at first she's very excited by it and it seems like this great thing, but yeah, then as the play yeah, goes on, I she becomes deal with more and more uh, kind of freaked out and uh, sort of uh, existentially terrified at the idea of living forever and, and quite literally never being able to die. Um, so she becomes more and more certain of that as the play goes on, um, tests it in various ways. Um, and yeah, kind of- A Dory Anna Gray complex kind of. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit, sure, a little bit, sure. maybe. Yeah, you're like, okay, I'll give you that one. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. All right, and there are a lot of uh, strong women in this play, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you've been asked this question before. But are you? Uh, how does that come about for you? That that you have an affinity for that? Um, it's something that I've always done. Uh, going back to even writing stories in high school, college. It, it's just. Um, it's always been something that I've done, and I and I can't really put my, uh, you know, I can't really pinpoint why exactly yeah. what the reason. Well, for that things is. that come naturally, you know, it, it's kind of hard to, you know, sometimes. Yeah, I mean, you know, put a, you know, a pinpoint on or what have you. Yeah, I mean, and I think that, um, uh, I mean, a lot, a lot of times when I'll start writing a character, I won't really know whether it's male or female. Cool. Um, there might be something in the circumstances, or it might be something in the relationship, or something that informs gender somewhat. Cool. Um, I think a lot of my writing is is fairly ungendered as well. That you could, in a different production, swap out men for women, women awesome. for men, and uh, and in most cases, it would probably work the same. So. That's really incredible. That's really a, a cool thought. Well, to see if you agree with that, <laughs> you have to come out to Kill Me, presented by Wild Claw Theater, the only theater in Illinois that's exclusively doing very serious horror work. It's um, indeed. And you need to check out Scott Bersardi's work. It's just amazing. I'm thrilled to be here with him. Check it all out. Big A Horror Fan saying sweet love and pink root.